Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you pretty much the final on the engine. I'm going to show you what the bulldozer looks like right now. And I'm going to get some more of this uh, track assembly done. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome back to the bench. So I'm still working on the AMT bulldozer and low boy combo uh, kit. And again, a big thanks to Sunward Hobbies for supplying me with this kit for this video. So I can show you what you could possibly do with yours. So make sure that you check them out, go online. Link will be down in the description for them. If you're in the Toronto area, make sure you go stop at their store. And when you're shopping online, any orders over $60 Canadian before your taxes is free shipping Canada and US. So go check out their link, go stop at their store. So let's get to what I've done. So you saw in the last video that uh, <clears throat> I've been working on the engine. Well, I've got this uh, pretty much done. So here's where I'm at with it. So I've got some rust staining, I've got some oil staining, painted up the starter and the exhaust, all the fan belts. Now, of course, a lot of this you're not going to see because, well, it's buried way inside the chassis. But you will see some of the side paneling and stuff like that, and you'll probably catch a little bit of the top. Uh, I'll show you the engine in the chassis um, in a little bit after I show you what I've done to the bulldozer. So yeah, all my fuel lines, I made a couple look like they're replaced, you know, things like that. Uh, put a stack on the top here, and again, I'll show you what that's all about and what I've done with that. But yeah, that's the, the engine for it. Used some black wash on it, and I used uh, some of the, like the Vallejo, you know, rust washes and stuff like that. <clears throat> Dark rust, and I think this one's a light rust. Yeah, light rust orange rust wash type thing and a rust oxide light rust oxide uh, wash so that's what I used on that and some other stuff so let me show you what I've done on the bulldozer so I'm set this over here so enter the bulldozer here we go so I used a flat black and a gloss black on this now, I wasn't looking for perfect because it is going to get rusted and dirtied up, but I wanted something different. And one of my subscribers suggested black. So I went black, but I went basically a two-tone. Okay. So I need my little proppy thing here. Still haven't put this in, but that's okay. I'll get to that in a bit. So there's what that is. Now, when I put this in here, okay, Again, you're not going to see a lot of this, but so when that's sitting in there, I think that's got a pretty good, uh, you know, like shock value that, hey, it, look at that engine. You know, it's right there because everything else is black, right? Now, uh, where's the rest of my pieces? So we've got this piece here, the console. Now I still got to finish detail painting it, but it's getting there. So that will sit just like that, okay? Then we've got the hood piece, okay? And I haven't detailed painted this at all, but you see a small hole, and that's for the exhaust pipe, all right? So that'll sit something like that. Now this isn't gonna sit perfect because, well, nothing's glued in, right? Now we've got the grill. And I still got some work to do to that. I still got the steel mesh to put on the front and everything else. But that will sit here like so. And I said not everything's going to sit perfect because, well, I'm only dry fitting it. Now, for the floor. I've got the floor. I've got it worn down a bit. A little bit of rust. I still got some work to do to it. So that will sit right there like so 
Then we have this tank. Again, I started doing a little bit of rust work on it, some wear marks and stuff like that. That sits right here. Now we've got, uh, I believe this one here is the fuel tank itself. One, one's the fuel tank and the other one's the hydraulic, you know, but one way or another, that's one of them. So that will sit right here. If I can get it to sit there. Come on, sit in place. Sounds funny, but I don't want to scratch it up too much. You know what I mean? Anyways, then I've got the seat, which I'm still working on. A little bit of wear marks, you know, where they set their arms and stuff like that. Now the whole center piece is flat black and then the lower chassis is flat black. Body panels, tanks, the cowl engine and the hood, front grille and some of the reinforcement plates here are all gloss, gloss black. Here we've got some controls. Again, rusted it up where they kick it getting up and down kind of thing. So that would sit like that. You know, things aren't sitting perfect, but that kind of gives you a, uh, a look at roughly how it's going to look. Now, I did make a muffler because, well, I didn't like the muffler. So a little bit of aluminum piping. And I'm going to dirty up the rest of this. I'm going to probably do a little bit of heat staining on it kind of thing. Some more rusting. I just wanted to get the ends done first. But this here will sit right on there. Just like that. Now maybe I'll leave it a little bit. I don't know. I'm not done with it yet. So that's where this thing is at so far. Let me know what you think. If, you, if you're liking this so far and the way it's uh, the direction it's going, uh, hit that like button for me. You know, if you like the engine, the colors, you know, let me know your opinions, uh, comments down below. Anyway, so yeah, that's where that's at. So I'm going to move this over. Now, I've been working on the, uh, the track section here. I'm going to raise you back up. So, so yeah, I've been working on the track section. Uh, I haven't started building the track yet, um, but working on all the, the bogey wheels, like the track rollers and stuff like that, you know, putting the pieces on. So I'm slowly getting stuff on here. Oh, I glued that one in already. Okay. So yeah, I got this one. I still got to put this one in. <clears throat> That'll be your upper rollers, right? Zoom in just a little bit there. So we got your upper rollers, right? And everything still rolls. That one's not glued in yet. Then of course, all your lower rollers, your lower rollers will all go like that all the way across. Now this stuff here, I'm thinking flat black. Because once I put the arms on for the bulldozer blade itself, uh, I'm thinking gloss black on that. So it kind of leaves all the flat black inside and then almost like the outer edges are uh, gloss black, right? Uh, this here, this will be the inner side of this. And like so. All right. So that'd be like that. And these will all be in here. All right. And that's what your track will roll on. And this piece here gets attached underneath the bulldozer. But this will get glued onto there like so. Uh, we got one wheel. I haven't well, I started sanding it. But this one here will go inside here. Like so. And then this one here, the, uh, the actual drive gear will go on. Like so. so, obviously there's going to be some other pieces, you know, there's pins and stuff that all have to go in. So, I'm going to uh, finish getting these ready, or finish gluing these ones up. Um, i got to finish cleaning up these pieces, get them to a certain state because I want to paint the insides too. So, I'll paint both insides, get the rollers and everything on, and then I can paint the outside of them. All right? Make sense? Because, well, if I put this on all together right now, uh, it's going to be hard to get all side, like all the way around the rollers, you know, if they're stuck inside. 
and I can't put the track on right away because then I really can't get inside and I won't, don't want to take the chance of seeing yellow on the inside. I want it all flat black. Same thing with the wheel, you know, like if that's, if this is in place, well then, again, you got to sit there and turn it and turn it and turn it and just a chance of uh, getting too much paint on it and getting runs and everything else. So, so yeah, I'll get it up to a certain state where I can paint the insides, then I can finish putting it together and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And I'll get both of them ready in the same way. This piece here actually goes up underneath the bulldozer and I believe sits... No, I think it sits in here. I have to double check. I think it, it might actually sit right there in this notch here. So I have to double check on where it's going to go. But yeah, I think that goes there. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to... Uh, continue on this and once i'm either ready for paint or i've got the inside painted and ready to put the outside put the whole thing together um i'll be back one way or another you'll see me in a second hey everybody i'm back so i've got everything all colored up in flat black i'm gonna let it dry a little bit more uh, before i try to assemble this here but everything is here um the bulldozer is there you know, I still got to glue it together. It's just mocked up, but we'll get to that uh, most likely in the next video. So I'm going to leave you with this here. Uh, make sure to check out Sunward Hobbies. If you want to try and build this uh, bulldozer, I'll leave the uh, link down in the description. This is the construction bulldozer and low boy trailer combination. And uh, yeah, this is turning out to be quite the project. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this, this extensive, but hell, this is an awesome pro uh, awesome kit. So, so yeah, in the next video, I'll have that uh, built up, probably installed on the bulldozer. And uh, we'll get to start on the tracks and uh, get them made up and probably colored at the same time. And I think after that... We're into, let's see, yeah, that's all that. So we'll be getting into the blade itself, you know, the blade and the arms. And uh, yeah, there's still ways to go yet. So there's still the uh, the ripper portion of it. So we've got that, and we've got decals. We gotta install the blade and, and arms and everything for it. So yeah, there's gonna be at least one more video, if not two. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any videos for this or any other videos that I put out. Go check me out on Instagram and Facebook group. Uh, give me a follow there. You'll get uh, update photos and stuff like that before the videos come out. If you feel that you want to help out the channel at all, I do have a PayPal me link down there. So if you want to check that out, go ahead for that. And uh, yeah, go check out Sunward Hobbies, see what they've got, and no matter what you're building, just build it your way, and until next time, later.